Hey guys, uh, welcome back to another video. Now, today's video is something that I just didn't really have planned. This is going to be another off-the-wall video, something that I just kind of thought, you know, let's kind of see if we can even do this. Um, as you can probably tell from the title, we're going to be attempting, at least, to install Microsoft Bob on Windows 10. Now, you may recall a video that I did a few years ago on Microsoft Bob, a sort of proper video where I kind of actually showed you uh, a little bit about the history of it and I kind of took you through the program and you know told you why that it failed basically and if you want to see that video I will have a YouTube card come up at the top right of your screen right now if you want to go check that out but today we're going to be doing something totally different we're going to be doing this is a total experiment I've not done this at all and I don't even know if it's going to work but we're going to you know find that out here now why would you want to do this well there's no real reason why you would want to do this it's just I don't know, just to kind of see if it works. I mean, that's kind of, I mean, I just kind of have these random ideas and I thought, why not make it into a video? So we've got Microsoft Bob mounted in the DVD drive here. And you see these are all of the files. By the way, this is in a 32-bit uh, installation of Windows 10. You cannot do this on a 64-bit install because it's a 16-bit application and 16-bit apps don't work on a 64-bit OS. So this is a 32-bit installation where 16-bit apps will work, at least you have to enable it, I think. But we're going to just try to run the setup and see what it does. You can see this is from August 14th, 1995. So, so yes, this is where it's going to say that well, we have to install the NTVDM, which is, I believe, the 16-bit uh, um, subsystem support, basically, to where it will actually allow you to install a 16-bit program. So. Let's go ahead and, oh, look at that. It just popped right up. I didn't, didn't even have to like change compatibility or anything. So yeah, Microsoft Bob set up in that beautiful Comic Sans font, uh, you know, that we all know and love. Um, so this already looks a little bit different than it does in Windows 95. That's obviously because this is, you know, Windows 10. So this kind of window here, just to me, looks a little bit different. So I'm putting my name here, hit okay. There's our product ID, that's great. We're gonna search for some installed components. Okay, CMS Bob. We're gonna click the wonderful Bob face to uh, you know complete with the installation or to go with the installation. So it's gonna add a uh, a um, program group to the start menu. I do want to start. I'm gonna see what happens when I click like when Windows 10 boots up if it will still launch it. I, I assume it will. Um, so yeah, register today, you know, I mean, we've, we've seen all this stuff before in that previous video, but here it is, copying everything over to the uh, to the folder. So it is taking just about uh, the same time, or, you know, probably like exactly the same time that it would take in Windows 95 on a VM. Um, so, you know, there's nothing special here. I mean, Windows 10 obviously, you know, isn't going to make it faster. It's just, you know, going to be the same speed, which it pretty much is. Um... So setup is updating your system, and yeah, we're going to restart the computer, and I am curious to see. So it just put Microsoft Bob in the startup folder. It's got all these windows opened up, like I don't know why it, it, it opened up this, like the readme settings, and then it opened up this start. It's not restarting for some reason. I'm going to go ahead and manually do it and see if that's what we have to do. And okay, so we are booting back, or, or sorry, logging in. We've you know, already booted up, we're logging in. I'm going to see... If it starts Microsoft Bob, uh, it might give you know throw up an error because it's you know we might have to enable compatibility mode, but we didn't have to for the setup, which was really interesting. I thought for sure we would have to enable compatibility mode for the setup, but maybe not. I mean, obviously not because you know we didn't have to do it. So we've logged in here and it hasn't done anything. I'm just going to give it a little time here to start up um, because it might still be loading in some items. Yeah, I see we're still thinking. Okay, so it tried to launch, but it says cannot find utopia.dll. So, cannot find cmsbob home, home.exe, or one of its components. Can't run 16 bit Windows program. So, it tried to launch, it just, you know, didn't, obviously. So, let's go ahead and check out what's going on in the Windows folder or in the msbob folder. And I have, I think this might just be a compatibility problem. So, is it cmsbob? Is it, is the executable uh, Utopia? I guess it is, UX Backup. Where's like the regular EXE? Um, it's like, I don't know where, oh, home, it's probably in here. 
it's probably home.exe that might be it so let's put in compatibility run this program for Windows 95 OK and let's launch it cannot find Uto utopia.dll but that I mean that's in here it has to do here it is utopia.dll do we need to copy that into the home folder or something like let's do that we'll copy utopia.dll in here u extra.dll okay well that did something so we'll copy well i'm just going to copy all these dll's well, let's do this we'll just do a star.dll okay i'm going to find all these and then we're going to copy them inside the home folder we're going to skip utopia.dll we're going to skip this file okay now we got all the dll's in the home folder so let's run home again Oh boy. Okay, well that actually worked. I did not think that was going to work. So for some reason I had to copy all of the DLL files from the root folder into the home folder. And you see we got the like the bob like huge icon um was kind of like it had like a black background to it which was interesting. This is the Gateway 2000 uh, edition of Bob, so there's some like extra rooms and stuff, but All right, so the sound works. So we'll go ahead and do this whole registration uh, thing that's really annoying. This is this is like I was born on this on the zero day of the zero month of the zero year. Okay, well it actually has it's actually smart enough. Oh, see, this is what is so annoying about Bob. Like you have to click the stupid button to actually. Okay, one one of. Uh, Zero. Wait, can we do that year? Okay, I was born in the year 1000. Which gender? Dude, does that really matter? Like, okay. Yeah, so it actually let me put that I was born in the year 1000. Type your password, lol. Type your password again, lol. Okay. So you gotta put all this. No, we don't have to put it in. Uh, do garage. I I'm just doing this, like, okay, skip the door. Yes, I want to skip the tour. The tour is so long and takes forever. Well, here we are. I did not think we were going to be able to do this. Welcome to the Bob home, FJ. Okay, I'm going to turn this off so that he stops bothering me. Now, how do we add... See, what I'm... Because all this is obviously going to work. Like, I mean, we can go in here and... Like, you know, run Bob Finance or whatever. I mean, this is all going to work. Actually, it's going to work. No, it's not going to work. So, are all of these folders, like... This is what doesn't make any sense. Like, do, do you have to copy all the DLLs into the into these individual folders? I'm going to try that. Okay, so GeoSafari, right? So we hit start and it just gives an error. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing I did before. I think it's still in the clipboard. So I'm going to go into the Safari folder and we're going to copy everything and skip the file that's already in there. And now we're going to launch it again. Oh, now I can't find... Okay, well, I found all those DLLs. Now it's giving a different error. Can I find a VBX file? Okay, so we'll copy that. Okay, let's do a star.vbx, copy these to Safari. Yeah, now it, now it launches. I don't know what that is. Like, I guess something's, something is obviously screwed up with like where it's, you know, trying to point to find those files in the root folder. And then they, they have to be in the same folder. Normally, obviously, that isn't an issue. But that definitely has to do with us running it under Windows 10 because that normally doesn't happen. So we have this like super enlarged uh, like text box here. I don't know why it's like this. And so obviously it's going to be like the regular Geo Safari program. Oh my gosh, that's louder than usual. Okay. Uh, we're going to. I'm just going to quit out of this. What I what I want to see. See you later. 
Okay. What I what I'm curious in seeing is if like you can launch like regular Windows 10 programs from here. So we're gonna go in other options and find a program. Windows and DOS. Okay, it found two Windows and DOS programs. Calc and Control Panel. So this is. Oh, that's weird. So can we even? Oh, we can't uncheck this for some reason. Oh, I guess you have to. Okay. So I'm gonna do Control Panel and find it. I can't seem to find this program. Yes. So this is the control panel and I guess if we launch it oh, look at that it launches the control panel. Okay well that's that is neat. So it, it, it does even bring in like the new icon. It's for some reason like I, I don't think the box is usually this big but okay so we got that. Can we find another program? I'm going to Browse programs on your hard disk. I want to browse programs. Okay, so doing this does, does, doesn't do anything. So I'm going to browse on my own. Browse the file system. Okay, so it brings up like the old school file browser here. So we're going to go into the C drive and uh, programs. You see it's kind of like the short file names thing going on. So I explore on exe. We're going to click OK. Added. And there's Internet Explorer, which, yes, you can still launch regular uh, IE Internet Explorer in Windows 10, even though Edge is the default browser, although it's not launching for some reason. Like, it tries to launch, but it doesn't do anything. So... Yeah, I don't want to do anything. So I guess there's some programs that aren't going to launch. Let's go to about. I want to see. This is, yeah, 10A. Okay, home pill, whatever. So, I mean, that is really all I have to say, I guess. I mean, it does work. You can see we had a few problems, but we were able to fix it by copying DLL files. So something is screwed up with like I mean basically like I said where it's searching to to find the files it's not able to pull them from the root folder you have to actually copy them um, to the individual application folder so uh, yeah I mean that is really I mean you know it's just regular Microsoft file. I mean if you want to see like the full video Oh, here's like the gateway shared room. I guess we can take a brief look at this. Yeah, so this is like the special room that was in the uh, like the gateway 2000 edition. So, you know, it's just regular Microsoft Bob. I mean, what do you want to, you know, it's, you know, it's Microsoft Bob. It's, you know, this, oh man, this, this, this program. I sometimes can't even believe it was actually a thing. Um, so yeah, that is, that is basically going to wrap it up for this video. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out of this. Yes, sign out. So, that was a brief look at Microsoft Bob. Uh, thanks for watching. I mean, this video is, is just kind of like, I mean, like I said, kind of like a short little rambling, I guess. Just something totally random, but uh, I just thought it would be cool to do. So, let me know if you like this video. Uh, and if you want to see more like it, you know, be sure to leave me a uh, comment down below letting me know, you know, what you think of this random off-the-cuff style video you know if you want to see more of them i know it's not really like anything you know super overproduced or you know where i write like a script out or anything but if you like this style of video um i could do more of them uh, but i just want to thank you guys you know so much for watching uh and i will see you all in the next video